Hello everyone and welcome to Jayman's Hill. This is my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be talking about the Scott 550 motocross helmet. So I've had the Scott 550 TC motocross helmet for more than two years now and I absolutely love it. But I also saw that online there's not a lot of information or reviews about this helmet. So I thought, why not do it? So for, for me personally, this helmet is pretty good looking. Like I really like the interesting peak design, the beak. It, it looks quite interesting, quite modern and quite sharp. Older motocross helmets tend to look a little bit more round and uh, they had more of a slope and curvature to it. As design has evolved with time and progress, they have quite literally worked out those curves and kinks to make it more aerodynamic and smooth. I mostly use this helmet for off-roading purposes, but this is also my primary road helmet. I do own an empty, but I don't personally enjoy wearing it so much. And uh, the reason why I prefer wearing a motocross helmet over a road helmet, even on the road, is the reason why motocross helmets are so good. It's ventilation. Yes, ventilation is one of the most important things in off-road riding because you oftentimes aren't riding at a super, super fast speed. Uh, even if you are, you're struggling to not die or fall, which makes you sweat a lot. So having an off-road helmet with enough venting makes it easier to live in it and uh, breathe. So this helmet weighs 1.3 kgs, which is a good range for a helmet at this price point. I know there are helmets that are heavier than this one, uh, but most of the helmets in the price range in which this helmet belongs, which is 18 to 22,000 rupees, this helmet's weight is pretty normal. A lot of people ask me why I went with the black helmet. I personally really like the color black. I mean, I'm always kind of wearing black or gray. If it were up to me, I would even get rid of all of this orange stuff. If you can notice, I tried here to get rid of it, but that didn't work well, so... And it's easy to uh, clean, it does not show too many scratches and uh, I personally like black. A lot of people also ask me why Scott, why not a brand like Showa or Arai or Aero or Fox. Now, they're all great brands, I have nothing against these brands but I wanted a helmet which can last me for a long time and Scott provides service via sportnetwork.in in India. So I can replace the peak, I can replace the cushioning, I can get support on anything that I need. And um, that was important for me because previously I owned a Thor Sector Hype helmet, this one. I know it looks pretty good. I This is personally like the coolest helmet that I've owned so far, look-wise. But um, considering that the helmet was a starter helmet, it didn't last long at all. And I kind of was left high and dry looking for cushioning or um, Mainly cushioning, its cushioning had worn out quite a lot. So let's get into a small little science lesson for a little bit as to why dirt bike helmets are designed the way they are. So dirt biking is basically taking your motorcycle in a non-paved area. So it could be broken tarmac, it could be mud, it could be sand, it could be mountains, rocks, anything that is not paved and anything that is not a road is dirt biking. It's pretty much in the world itself. Dirt, your motorcycle, dirt biking. Most enduro, dual sport and dirt bike helmets are shaped like this because of two main reasons. Number one, they allow for a larger viewport which allows more air in and for you to see around a lot more. In a road helmet such as this one, your vision is kind of limited to a particular angle like you can't see more than that. In a dirt bike helmet, this viewport is so large that you can see across like your, your regular human periphery of vision is not blocked by the physicality of the helmet. A dirt bike helmet also has a peak to it and a beak. So the peak is designed in a way to block the sun and not hinder your vision all that much. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say this little light acts as the sun. So when the sun is shining here, as you can see, this blocks off a lot of the sun. If this weren't here, like I'll just shift it up a little bit, you can see the light is in my eyes. Now imagine this being the sun and imagine how it could hinder your riding quite a lot. So a peak is designed in a way to block the sun. You can modify your angle based on the sun and it will stop the light from falling into your eyes and making make sure that you're riding safe and sound. Wow, recording in a humid Gurgaon is 
not fun. I've turned off my fan and my AC and I'm sweating. Another signature thing in an off-road helmet is a large viewport, which I already spoke to you about why it's important. It allows you to see a lot more and it does not block your vision. And this is the biggest air vent. It allows a lot of air to come in. Now, uh, talking about air, let me just continue on that for a little longer. Uh, so this has quite a few air vents. This is the biggest one. So basically this allows air to go in like this and then come out of these two ports. So this is cold air coming in and hot air going out, keeping you free and breathing inside the helmet. The second port of airflow is this one. Uh, this comes with a sponge, but I lost it. And uh, I personally like more air coming in my mouth. I don't enjoy the dust, but I'm not complaining all that much. Now, there are helmets that come with more and less airflow ports, but I personally like this one. Okay, now let's get into what I like about the helmet. Then we'll get into what I don't like about the helmet. So this helmet has great ventilation. I've tried two or three helmets in my life. The first one was my Thor Sector Hype, which was this one. It had horrible event ventilation, like barely any. I would always be like, I would always feel like I'm getting suffocated inside the helmet. I did not enjoy it. Uh, considering that it's a starter level cheap helmet. The other helmet that I tried was the Fox V1, which my dad owned for a while. I think that was also pretty well vented, but I personally could not gauge a, a difference in this helmet and that helmet. Now, there are two main reasons why I bought this helmet. One I already spoke to you about, which was Scott offers customer support in India through sportnetwork.in. The other, which is the most important thing in any helmet is safety. Now, this helmet provides two uh, features in terms of safety. Number one, it comes with MIPS and Conehead technology. Let me talk about MIPS for a second. MIPS is basically a slip layer inside of your helmet. Think of it as like a small, thin bicycling helmet inside of a motorcycle helmet. So what that does is that if you were to fall, it slips a little bit as so as to disconnect the impact from the point of crash and your head. But the second thing uh, this helmet offers is Conehead technology. Conehead technology is just, uh, think of it as like a very geometrically designed uh, double layered EPS foam. So all helmets come with EPS foams, right? Like the thermocol thing that you see, see inside it, that is not like builders and movers are like uh, thermocol, that is actually EPS. It's very scientifically designed to absorb and uh, repel impact so the design of it allows again uh, protection from a rotational force so the thing is that when you fall um, many times you wouldn't fall just like that you will also rotate your head and that rotational sort of flow or rotational injury can cause a lot of damage to your brain and my brain to me is very very valuable because i am an artist i'm a creative person and i think with my brain so I want my brain to be safe. So yeah, like MIPS and uh, Conehead both are extensively researched upon and you can find more literature about this in the link of this caption. What the fuck was that? In, in the caption of this YouTube video. Now things that I don't like about this helmet. Uh, the peak does not move, it's not adjustable. So you can't change the angles of it. In older helmets you could, but I've noticed that that is a very uh, conscious choice that brands are making in current day and age. Um, that is a con for me because I would have liked it to be closer or up depending on the terrain or the time of the day when I'm riding. Um, but I've also noticed that in Alpine Stars, SM8, SM10, all of their like flagship helmets, they also stick with a pretty uh, set peak design. The other thing that I don't like about this helmet and I think it is a me issue and not so much a manufacturing or a brand issue is this. So if you can notice there is a fair bit of fraying happening on the edges. Now this gets very irritating like look at this thread right here. So what this does is that it irritates your face because you can always feel it and I always feel like there's a fly or something inside of my helmet. So I might be going in for a change soon. Considering that this helmet is two years old now, I think this is natural. But uh, if anyone from Scott is watching this video, that might be something for you to consider. Things that can be done a little bit better. I'm not complaining, but these are just like suggestions to Scott. For the first and the last thing is honestly just cooler designs. I feel like there are so many motocross helmets that look cooler than this one. 
like this is pretty minimalistic futuristic and it looks dominating i feel like at, in terms of the aesthetic of the helmet but it's not very interesting to look at like when you compare this 18000 rupee helmet to this helmet which is now being sold for 7500 rupees in india i mean that helmet looks a little bit more exciting and crazy i'm not saying that all motocross helmets have to look like i'm not saying that i'm just saying like investing in a little bit of a cooler design will allow people to invest more in your helmets considering that people also consider looks as a very strong part of the helmet um, based off of my choice in this helmet a lot of my friends have went and bought scott 550s and scott 350s i personally really like scott i personally really like the helmet's comfort and fitting and uh, for me it's a really good helmet so i would recommend go for it you know it's solid it it works really well and uh, yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching if you like this video consider subscribing uh, if you don't want to subscribe at least leave a like uh, share this with your friends and uh, if somebody from scott is watching i'm always free for some like goggles or helmet i mean if you so kuch dena hai to de sakte ho i'm i'm not going to say no okay all right thanks a lot and now i'm going to switch on my ac and my fan and not sweat anymore peace